Welcome to Cooper's TV. We're in the historic, fabulous Theberton Theatre in Adelaide. We're going to have a look around and meet the manager, Robbie Robertson. Now, Robbie Robertson, you don't play guitar with the band, do no, you? No, I don't. But um, <laughs> uh, the band actually played here uh, some years ago and it's actually the first band that has demanded to meet me because when they got their venue specs and it had theatre manager Robbie Robertson, they demanded for me to come out the back and meet them. Wow, they're a legendary mm. group in the rock and yeah, roll Yeah, no, it was world. an excellent concert. I'd like to hear about your association with this beautiful theatre. I put shows in here in the early 70s and then when I had split ends coming into Adelaide, I also put them in here. By then the venue had badly run down. So I then contacted the owners of the building and they said it was likely to be bulldozed. So um, Bob and I put a rescue package to um, the Thebiton Council and uh, here we are 31 years later. Now over the years you've had an incredible array of acts, internationals like Billy Joel, BB King, Duran Duran, locals uh, like Cold Chisel, Midnight Oil. Just run me through uh, some of the standout shows for you. Recently, uh, the Foo Fighters. The venue was awarded the best venue um, in South Australia as a result of that. And uh, another one that was memorable um, was um, Elvis Costello. We were still in the process of, of, of renovating the venue and we didn't have proper dressing rooms. But when Elvis Costello came in, he was amazed. He said, this is fantastic. He said, it's the only venue that um, he's ever played in the world where his dressing room is a stage. He said uh, publicly that it was the best concert he'd ever done in Australia. Uh, it was scheduled to finish at 11 o'clock at night. It went through to after one o'clock in the morning. He just kept going. We've had uh, the Australian squash championships here. We've had table tennis championships. We had a, a dog show. We put lawn on the middle of the floor and the dogs paraded around with a little picket fence and. Uh, and, and that was memorable. Probably the most memorable event for me because it was uh, just a bonus. Um, John Farnham played here, he did seven consecutive full houses and on one of the performances, the second to last performance, Stevie Wonder came to the event and uh, they went on stage and uh, sang Amazing Grace with a four-part backing singers um, as a bonus to the audience and uh, yeah, a magic night. I have to say one of my fondest memories of the nights that we played here, I noticed someone uh, bent down working on the floor uh, and it was you writing in chalk mm -hmm. the seat numbers. Yes. Do you do that for every show? Because they're not fixed seats, we vary the capacity so that uh, even if the, the show is not full, it will look forward to the performer. Uh, but yeah, you'll find me. Uh, laying out the seats and packing up the seats. It's so you might write 1,500 numbers <laughs> yeah. in chalk. There's a thousand seats downstairs. So. Do you rub yeah. them out before uh, the yes, next we do. one? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Robbie, can you tell us about your association or the venues association with Cooper's Brewery? Well, we we sell only Cooper's beer here. It's a very good product and um, it's popular and it's South Australian. Oh, I wanted to ask you about. Uh, if the room has changed inside? What, what have you It It, it has, changed? but we didn't want to be able to um, tell the difference between where new started and where old finished. The bottom bar wasn't there pre-1980, the main bar wasn't there pre-1980. Where we're sitting right now is the only part that is completely untouched. Just to finish off, um, top five acts this might sound strange, the thing that I enjoy most is, is not the performers, it's the audience. Yeah. Uh, I just love it when an audience just um, uh, really get into the performance, whether that performance is heavy metal or whether it's jazz or whether it's um, comedy. Uh, when, when there's a real empathy between the performer and the audience, it's yeah. just uh, I never get bored with that. Brilliant. Perfect way to end. Mm -hmm. Robbie, thank you so no much for your time. and. Uh, Keep up the great work with your venue. No worries. We'll be back. I'm glad of that.